Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahabah, Shami Havashai, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I just want to, <laughs> I want to go in um, on this Elizabeth Warren character, and Lord will bring out some edification based upon the predicament she's finding herself in right now. See people be photoshopping her with this Native American Indian regalia because this woman is claiming Native American uh, um, a, uh, heritage, which we know that the Native American Indians um, in the landmass of America are the tribe of Gad, except for the Seminole Indians who are the tribe of Reuben. All right, and you are only a descendant of one of those peoples if your father's lineage goes back to those people, not your mother. Now, they're, they're saying here, Elizabeth Warren refuses DNA test to prove Native American heritage. First of all, a DNA test cannot identify that your father's lineage goes back to the Native American Indians. So it's not a proof of, heri of heritage. All right. You can use a DNA test to prove who your father is, to prove who your mother is. You can even use a DNA test to... to strongly suggest a relationship between you and a grandparent or between you and a cousin or brother or sister but what you cannot do is use dna tests to to trace your ancient heritage or a heritage from the past yeah that is a, a, a um erroneous man that's a myth and you want to learn more about how the DNA test works, there's a good article here, DNA Fact or Science Fiction, Six Genetic Genealogy Myths from the Family Tree Magazine, and it goes into a lot of that information, man. These these um, DNA ancestral, they're not even accurate. They're not like testing for your mother and your father, man. It's a whole different ball game. Let me read it real quick. Genetic genealogy isn't an exact science, so it's case closed. It's not proof of anything. It involves quite a bit of interpretation, although your DNA doesn't lie. Scientists use it to calculate the probability that you and another researcher are related or that you have an African root or whatever the hell they're looking for. And they'll give it like 15% this, 20% that. It's garbage. You only have one heritage, man, according to your father's lines. So DNA is BS. Based on genetic patterns they have observed in populations, which the only information they can get is populations today. This means that genetic genealogy can suggest but not prove a relationship. So it's all BS. When they're talking about heritage based upon DNA, it's BS. It's just yet another dis dis deception that the so-called white man puts out there. Because then what he'll do is, who you simple-minded Israelites out there, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, will go get a damn DNA test, and it will tell you you're from about 50 different things, this percentage, this, this percentage, that, and confuse your dumb ass, man, when really you're an Israelite. It's funny how no one's test ever comes up that they're an Israelite. Because it's BS, all right? Elizabeth Warren refuses DNA test to prove Native American heritage. Now, if you read the information, you would know straight away that mm -mm, she's not a Gadite, according to the lineage she's claiming, because it says here, Senator Elizabeth Warren baited down call, batted down calls for her to take a DNA test to prove her Native American heritage in an interview that aired Sunday. I know who I am and never used it for anything, never got any benefit from it anywhere. Warren said as her answer of her ancestry on NBC's Meet the Press. The Massachusetts Democrat has been under increased pressure to provide evidence of her Native American roots, with President Trump repeatedly mocking her as Pocahontas as recently as Saturday. An editorial this month in Massachusetts Berkshire Eagle urged Warren to buy a DNA test for $99 to resolve the issue once and for all. Which this 99 DNA test doesn't prove nothing. Like I said, it, it's, not, it's not admissible. It's BS. But let's read on. All the Senate needs to do is spit into a tube, wait a few weeks and get her answer. Ask whether she take an ancestry test, which is BS. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it again. Whatever, whatever the result you get from this ancestry test, whether it be for or against or in favor of what you believe or not, it's not accurate and it's not true. Point blank period. Alright, it's pseudo-science. It sounds like science, but it's not. 
Warren said she wants to hold on to the folklore of her parents' love story. My mother and daddy were born and raised in Oklahoma, Warren said. My daddy first saw my mother when they were both teenagers. He fell in love with this tall, quiet girl who played the piano, head over heels, but his, his family were bitterly opposed to their relationship because she was part Native American. So straight away, if she's trying to say she's Native American based upon this story, based upon her mother being part Native American, which part we don't know, because you can't be part anything. You are who your father is. But let's just say for argument's sake that her mother's line through her through her mother's father, her grandfather, went back to the, to the, the uh, uh, original peoples, the Native American Indians, and her mother, in fact, was of Native American heritage of the tribe of Gad, right? She don't qualify because her father don't. According to the information she provided. Let's go back to the scriptures. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. According to the number of the names from the 20 years old and upward by their posts. Heritage or pedigree according to the Bible is declared by your, your father's line. So if your father's lineage goes back to one of the patriarchs of the different nations the Lord created, whatever patriarch that is through your father's line, that's your heritage. So if your father's line goes back to, to, to Mizraim, then you're a Mizraimite. If your father's line goes back to Israel, then guess what? You're an Israelite. If your father's line going back to Edom, guess what? You're an Edomite. And that's the truth. Now you gotta search that in the spirit. Now, 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 now you got a lot of Edomites, like the Apostle Recall always brought out through them through their through their mother's line that are that try and claim to be Gadites. Guess what? That's not gonna deliver you in that day. Because the Lord knows who are his. The Lord knows who his people are, man. And you you can't claim to be an Israelite. And pull the wool over the, the eyes of the Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. It is written, our God is a God of knowledge. Just like if you got Israelites scattered among the nations that look like the other nations, that believe they are of the other nations, if they're of the elect, then they're going to be delivered being of that seed. Guess why? Because the Lord knoweth his people. The Lord knows his sheep, man. So this, this woman here, based upon the information, that they're provided here, this, there shouldn't be no need for no DNA test, even though the DNA test isn't admissible, because she's already done declared that she's claiming heritage through her mother, which is not biblical, it's not truthful, it's not sound. So if that, I'm going to say Shalom.